at 7.30, we got our second to last 7.30 game, guys. I know we've been on 7.30 for a hot second. Uh, we got SMU, which is 2-0, traveling to Maryland, which is also 2-0, and one of the more underrated games of the day. Maryland favored by 2.5 points on FS1. We'll go over the stats real quick, and then we're going to go over my analysis of the game. Tanner, by the way, I hardly know her. Mordecai has gone 41-63 through two games, done for 644 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception. TJ McDaniel has... The kid, 19 carries for 137 yards and two touchdowns. And Rasheed Rice has had 17 catches for 298 yards and three touchdowns. Tawalia Tagovailoa has gone 51 to 65, thrown for 681 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Roman Hemby has had 16 carries for 143 yards and two touchdowns. And Deshaun Jones has had 10 catches for 141 yards and two touchdowns. Maryland's 2 0 in the series all time. First game was in 19, last game was in 1962. Both these games, though, have been one-possession games. This is why I think it's going to be really close, right? SMU looks like one of the better teams in the AAC. Uh, the AAC has some good football teams, so that's not say that's saying a lot. Uh, SMU looks good, guys. They look like a good football team. Now, have they played anyone of Maryland's caliber? Heck no. So we're going to see how they do against a team of that caliber. SMU looks dang good here early on. Maryland also looks really solid. Um, and if I'm Michigan, I'd be a little bit scared heading into next week. I still think Michigan's better than Maryland, but Maryland looks solid at a lot of different points in this, this, uh, I think this game's tough for me. I, I really think SMU has a good chance of winning this game, but I think Maryland does as well. Just who better, who, uh, <coughs> oh <my God. coughs> who, uh, make plays down the stretch. 